everyone, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review, and today I'll be smoking the El Septimo, the Emperor Collection, Alexander III in Toro. This is a 6x54 Toro. Solidly packed cigar, not a soft spot anywhere on here either. Beautiful look to it. And there's a wrapper. Super smooth Connecticut shade wrapper. Look at the foot. Nicely packed cigar. And there is the band. Adorned with Alexander III or Alexander the Great. Very ornate. I just rhymed. But yeah, uh, the blend here is undisclosed, so we do not know what kind of tobacco is in here, but we can safely say that this one does have a Connecticut shade. Just don't know where it's from. But yeah, uh, as far as my previous experience with El Septimo, I have only had one so far. That was the Sacred Arts Collection Salvador Dali. Really, really good smoke. Very large cigar, but also a very interesting and enjoyable cigar. It kept things great the entire way through. And also, uh, because I'm a big fan of ancient history, I love the ancient Greek history, Macedonian history, ancient Rome, ancient Assyria, uh, Ptolemaic. I love all of it. Uh, I think that Alexander's father, Philip II, doesn't get enough credit, but I'm okay with his son getting his own cigar. So because of all that, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. Great draw. Even for it being very packed, still had a great draw. See how easily this footband comes off. Not the easiest, but no tobacco came off with it. Slide it up. We got ourselves a smooth operator here. Exceptionally smooth smoke texture. That is what's standing out the most right now. Cedar is the main flavor though through the retro and palate. The faintest amount of white pepper floral spice through the retro hill, just barely any of it. Uh, barely getting some dry earth through the retro too. And cashew and honeysuckle sweetness on the palate, very minuscule amounts. So yeah, uh, right now I'll say mild plus body, smooth smoke texture, and a short finish. I'm thinking that this one should develop quite a bit. So I'll go ahead and smoke this one down through the end of the first third here. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have come to the end of the first third. Beautiful burn line. Ash just fell off in one big chunk before this take. And a lot of smoke. Still a very smooth cigar. So at this point, medium plus body, short finish, and a super smooth smoke texture. Cedar is the main tone still through the retro and palette. More nutty, so getting more of the cashew through the retro and palate as well. The faintest amount of the white pepper flow of spice through the retro hill, no longer getting the dry earth, which I like. And just a faint amount of honeysuckle on the palate. So yeah, the cigar didn't develop a heck of a lot, but it is a more nutty and a more enjoyable cigar here at the end of the first third. So we'll go ahead and smoke this one down through the end of the second third, probably up a little bit before the band there. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the second third, right before the band. Gorgeous burn line, beautiful ash, great construction. Lots of smoke. So yeah, at this point, medium body, medium length finish, and a slightly creamy smoke texture. Cedar is still the main tone here, both of the red drone palette. I'm getting this nice toasted marshmallow sweetness though, both of the red drone palette as well. Mmm. Adding to that slightly creamy smoke texture. So just a little bit of the floral white pepper spice through the red drone hill, getting some cashew through the red drone palette too. And that is about it. 
good addition with that toast marshmallow adding a nice dynamic to this cigar so we'll go ahead and smoke this one down through the end of the final third here all the way down to the end and i'll get you the final verdicts hey we have reached the end of the final third beautiful burn line nice enough looking ash great construction the entire way through a lot of smoke So at this point, medium body, medium length finish, and a creamy smoke texture. The toasted marshmallow has risen in strength. It is matching that cedar, both of the rectum and palate. Those are the two main tones now. Mm. We have the cashew right underneath that, both of the rectum and palate, and still just a faint amount of the white pepper floral spice to the retro. certainly did not end on a bad note here so overall i'm gonna rate this cigar a satisfying the first third was pleasant the second third was satisfying and right now it is a near memorable cigar so overall a satisfying score i think maybe a year to tears of age the cigar's profile could become more creamy and buttery but i would still totally smoke it again right now a very satisfying cigar if you couldn't tell so uh, one last thing, do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. If you've heard this before, feel free to click out of this video now. But do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey with the way YouTube has been restricting and censoring cigar content lately. It is paramount that you know I'm on other platforms like Rumble and Odyssey just in case if YouTube pulls a plug at us here if you watch this on YouTube. So yeah, everybody, this has been my review of the El Septimo, the Emperor Collection, Alexander III, and Toro. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next view.